Chevrolet made a bet on the mid-size pickup truck market that some other brands weren't ready to take when it introduced a new Colorado pickup truck for the 2015 model year. And it's upped the ante for 2016 by offering a new Duramax turbo diesel four-cylinder. The engine increases maximum towing capacity to 7,700 pounds, and it's paired with trailering-oriented features like an exhaust brake and an integrated trailer brake controller. But how does it perform in everyday driving? Let's take a look. The Diesel Colorado is distinguished by just a few unique exterior cues. There are Duramax badges on the front fenders and an oversized tailpipe, but otherwise it looks a lot like the Gas Colorado. Our test truck is the off-road oriented Z71 trim level. Z71s get a gunmetal grill finish instead of chrome that other models get, projector beam headlights, and 17-inch aluminum wheels with all-terrain tires. There's also an automatic locking rear differential and the skid plate for the transfer case. Our truck also had these tubular assist steps. They're a $745 option that look pretty good, but they're not that useful in real life. Even in Z71 form, the Colorado isn't that high of a riding truck, so I didn't need the steps to get into it. And when trying to get out of the truck, they were just constantly brushing against my pant leg because they stick out so far. The built-in rear bumper steps, however, make it a lot easier to get into the cargo bed. The diesel is rated at 181 horsepower and 369 pounds-feet of torque, and it teams with a six-speed automatic transmission. You'll hear familiar diesel clatter when driving it, but you don't feel it, and that impressed a lot of our editors. Acceleration is acceptable, though not as strong as the Gas V6, and the transmission is unobtrusive, making refined shifts and kickdowns. High-speed passing power, though, is modest. The diesel just doesn't have a lot of reserve power left at higher speeds. With the diesel, the four-wheel drive Colorado gets an EPA estimated 23 miles per gallon in combined driving. And that's a few miles per gallon higher than the gas four-cylinder or gas V6 get. In mixed city and highway driving, we got about 22 miles per gallon. The Colorado is poised on the highway and is a maneuverable, easy to drive truck in places that can be nerve wracking in larger full-size models like parking garages. Its smaller dimensions are a key reason but its responsive car-like steering also deserves some of the credit. The cabin has a lot of hard plastic surfaces, but low gloss graining gives it a nice look. But the one place I would have liked to have seen some soft touch material is on the upper portion of the doors, because it could be a more comfortable place to rest your arm. The driving position is comfortable thanks to a standard height adjustable driver's seat. That's something the Toyota Tacoma doesn't offer and it makes driving that truck much less enjoyable. Higher trim levels of the Colorado have four USB ports, including one in the center console storage bin. It makes the bin a good place to stash your smartphone if you're gonna connect it to the available MyLink multimedia system, which supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. The crew cab's rear seating area has good legroom for adult passengers, but comfort is compromised a little by the upright backrest. The seat folds two ways. The backrest comes down, or the seat cushion flips up. But when the cushion's up, you don't have a flat loading floor because of the structure for the seat. The Duramax diesel costs about $4,200 extra in the Z71 Colorado, but unless you plan on regularly towing more than 7,000 pounds, it's not an option you have to check, especially considering the Colorado offers an impressive gas V6 engine.